Hey there guys and gals, welcome back. I am your host Raven2012 and today we're going to take a look at um, basically a free DLC that I've been waiting for quite a while since uh, FS13 and it's finally here, the uh, Classic Pack DLC. Wow, it's been a really long time. Um, I haven't seen these guys in forever. So these used to be around in FS13. I believe they were included in the game. If not, I don't I think it was a DLC. I'm not too sure. It was obviously a free one too. But uh it's actually a really nice pack, uh, especially if you get into some of the small small farms, which are kind of you can find them nowadays, but they're kind of uh are a little rare nowadays to find a smaller map. Um, they're really good with um, um, Old Family Farm, the one I started with. And um, yeah, oh my god, finally here. So yeah, uh, definitely I'll put the link down below. It's obviously at the uh, Farm Sim website. Uh, it's obviously on the DLC part there. So download, it's free. And it comes with all the tractors here as we... Uh, known and love uh, some of these look like they actually got a little bit of detail on them so we're going to drive a couple of these I am not going to test each and each and one of these uh, implements and whatnot we'll take some of them test drive and uh, we're going to take a look at them here and we've got the Schickler here uh, Goldenberg G40 Bure. oh nice Hots, Linder, whatever that one is. Oh, that's a Dutes. Awesome. Herleman, and this is your little front loader here. And I assume they get dirty. I wouldn't think otherwise because this is giant stuff here. And then we got the bucket. Looks like a silage uh, scoop up for that. Uh, we got the plow, cultivator, we got our uh, forge collector here, which is pretty interesting. It's not too bad. This actually looks better than the uh, FS-13 if I remember. Got your sower. Pretty nice looking actually. Here's your mower here. Looks like it would do some damage to somebody's ankles. And this is your water tanker here. It looks like it holds a thousand liters. I believe this is your slurry spreader. This is pretty antique looking, but it looks pretty interesting. It looks pretty cool. I like the way it looks. It looks like it needs to be pulled around by a horse. Uh, this is your baler here. And I think you attach it to here, and this is it collects the little bales in there. I really like this setup here. Uh, this is they use this a lot here in America, uh, especially up here on the northeast and some of the smaller farms. They still use these kind of contraptions here. So yeah, it's pretty nice here. It's got a lot of nice, decent textures. If you get too close, you can see the pixelation, but. Overall, it's actually pretty good looking. Yeah, not bad. Uh, you got your windrow here. I don't know what brand that is. Pottinger. Oh, cool. Your tether. I assume that's a Pottinger too. Manure spreader by Chrome. And this is your uh, tipper here. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's very cool. I like that. This is your uh, fertilizer spreader. And then here's your little uh, for harvesting or basically uh, to cut your uh, corn into chaff and whatnot. I remember using this a lot in um, old family farm. So uh, let's uh, check out how these actually sound here. So hopefully I'm going to have to readjust my sound when I uh, render this so you guys can hear this. So hopefully these sound pretty decent here. Let's go on this guy here. 
I assume there's no log errors. Um, well, it doesn't matter, I guess. Turn up the sound here so I can hear it. Well, it's got lights in the back. It's not too bad. Which, uh, this is pretty cool because if some of you guys out there want to do some of the small farms, you have a chance now. So I've been waiting for this uh, DLC for a very long time. Look at the PTO shaft. Pretty nice. Uh, let's actually hook this up to the uh, trailer here. And uh, let's go co cut some corn over there. At least test this guy out here. I assume that would hold uh, chaff. So let's bring up F1. Let's go here. There should be something. I guess it just lowers. And we just turn it on, I guess. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is crazy. Oh man, I haven't used one of these in so long. I like this equipment. It's a grind though if you're doing stuff. Um, see if that actually does hold yeah that should hold chaff I believe I don't know why it's not grinding it Alrighty guys, I would assume we just lower it, oh there we go, oh it's got a really, oh okay, there it is, I was just off on the trigger, or the um, area it needed to hit on I guess, I guess I wasn't on the field completely, I guess. I was just trying to get the stuff on the edge there. I guess I had to be on the field. Let's try it again. There we go. There we go, guys. Check that out. Alright, now let's do this whole field. It'll take me like three weeks. So yeah, that looks pretty nasty. Definitely not for this kind of map, definitely not for Whispers, but, you know, like, you have a little map somewhere. Oh yeah, this will definitely come in handy. Turn that off. Let's go back over here. What can we check next? I always like these shoot lures here. Um, I kind of want to test this baler out here, guys. Let's actually do that. Um... Let's actually take a closer look at these tractors. We didn't really get a close look at it here. So here's the shootler here. Now let's go in the store here and I can show you some of this really quick. But some of this, you know what guys, I'm going to let you discover this because it's a free DLC. And it's easy to find it. So you'll definitely go check it out. So 37000 for that guy. fourteen for that guy. 18000 12000 13000 I like the lin linear a lot, 15,000 and 20,000, 19,000 here. Uh, horsepower wise, that's 55, this is 75, 45, 40, 38, 72, 38. This one should have the most, 150. 
So let's check her out. So it should be pretty good details. I mean, it's giants. So yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm not really critical with mods. Um, if it looks good, functions well, and has a clean log, and it sounds well, uh, I usually don't criticize them too much. I mean, it looks great just a glancing at them. The linear here looks really good. I think this is part of my favorite. I think this is the one I used a lot in uh, FS13 here, if I ever used any of these equipment. Dudes. Ooh, the Hurley Man looks nice too. Check out the engine here. Pretty sweet. So let me purchase uh, just a small harvester. Um, should we do the uh, the foreign style of the um, the classic stuff here? That's actually a mod there. I forgot where I downloaded. Probably mod holsters. But that's the one we have in FS13 uh, for stock. And I believe it does spit out... Let's fire this up. I haven't used this in a while. Oh yeah, we can actually enable or disable uh, Strasswall. So that is good. So we're probably not going to get too far with this guy here. But uh, I'll try to find a link for this guy and put it down here because it would go well with this pack here if you guys are interested in, in um, that kind of stuff. And there really isn't a harvester to go with this here. And uh, I believe somebody made a header for this that actually did corn, so... I tried it out, I didn't like it too much because there was no animation at all when the uh, corn went inside the uh, header and up to the uh, auger section. So, let's turn all this off. And this is probably not going to go too far, well maybe. And we'll grab probably something big here, like the Schutler, if I'm pronouncing that right. Oh yeah, that sounds nice. That sounds really good. Not too much detail on the piping there, though. Inside, yeah, it's whatever. It's not the greatest thing in the world. The mirrors work. Yes, the mirrors work. This one actually has a beacon. The beacon works, of course. I, w I wouldn't see why giants wouldn't throw a beacon in because people would be really pissed here. So yeah, let's hook this up. Let's see how this works. We're going to have to knock everybody out of the way. To they use these kind of tractors a lot and tractor pulls I see. They're pretty powerful. So... I would think this hooks up to this. I could be wrong. Let me see here. Let's look up on our bailing. So that's the baler. I don't think those would attack. I would think it would. I don't. I don't look. Looking at it, I don't think it does. Yeah, I don't see no hookup for it. Um, it's, yeah, maybe.
I mean, it's got a high hookup, so it seems like it would somewhere. On the side, maybe. It probably doesn't. So let's, uh... <laughs> let's see... Oh my goodness, I boxed myself in here. So let me move this guy up here really quick. Detach him, and we'll see if we can hook up to that one. It seems a little weird to me, but, uh... That's probably how it works. Yeah, it's got a really high attachment. So, yeah, I guess we bail. Anyway, pick these little bales up. I want to see how Giants actually... Um, Giants the game likes these little bales. Um, unfold baler is X. Lower pickup, like normal. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, everything seems to be okay. Might have to unload that guy over there. Tiny little bales. See, I have a mod that kind of does that. If we're going to balers, it does that kind of the same thing, but then it shoots it up into the uh, trailer there. That's what I was thinking this would do. They're actually not too little. They're not that bad, you know, little guys there. So let's can we. Turn off Baylor. Ooh, we, there's an unload button. I wouldn't have thought that would have been a thing. Well, that's pretty cool. So let's switch back over here. Let's run over here really quick. Oh, that was my only tractor, huh? Um, would this guy pull? I think it should. I keep trying to hit four-wheel drive, and these guys don't have it. So I assume this thing... Is there any weights on front? No, there's no weights. Okay. This is interesting. Operating position. Cool. So it is on. This is actually pretty cool. <laughs> Pretty cool, guys. I like that. Where's the first bale? It's way up here. Really nice for a little farm, guys. I kind of want to play a um, whole family farm now. But I have some reasons why I don't play it besides it not having real quick. Oh, that functions very well very well and it just throws them in there awesome I kind of like it. it looks good looks good can we grab multiples nope we can just sit here I think oh not bad guys I really like that that is really neat So guys, I think that is about it where we can look at everything. Let's take a look at this forge collector here. This is not too bad looking either. So yeah guys, this is a little video for you guys. Um, like I said, I didn't want to go too much in detail. Um, definitely 
you guys uh, can check it out yourself but I want to give you a little taste of the um, free DLC it's finally here guys so we can get farming on the little farms finally so alrighty guys so uh, I'm going to put the link down below of the free DLC which is obviously easy per uh, easy to find but if not I'll link it down below and I'll also link the uh, the little dudes far harvester over there so you can guys find that too and use it in your pack so alright guys have a good day and we'll see you next time bye bye